Hello, Stacy again. Uh, I'm here today to show you my uh, Vera Bradley pin collection. Um, I stopped collecting officially probably back in 2012, and um, I have since picked up a few more pins than, since then, but before that, I had to have every pattern, even if I didn't like it. Um, so I think I'm around 43 pins. Uh, we move around a lot with my husband's job, and I have this Java floral rolling briefcase that has a bunch of them in there. I think it's in the garage or the attic. I'm not quite sure. I have seen it. I saw it when we moved here a few years ago. And um, so I have some pens that are out of their boxes, but I have their boxes. And just to kind of give you an idea, I've got Cupcakes Pink. Pinwheel Pink. Um, this, this, the pen that's in here, um, is the only pen that I've ever had any problems with, with writing. Um, not, not sure why, but other than that, Vera Bradley pens are very high quality. Highly recommend them. Uh, Versailles. Aren't these cute boxes? These boxes are so cute. Very durable, too. Um, Yellow Bird. Uh, my office, back in the day, before I became a mom, um, was all in yellow bird and I have a ribbon board somewhere well actually I do know where it is um, but it's covered in cat hair because my, ca my cat figured out where it was too um, but I have two yellow bird pens to go with the yellow bird decor that was in my office uh, back in the day lemon parfait uh, this pattern definitely has grown on me um, it's fairly neutral with its gray background um, I'm not a huge fan of yellow in general but something about this I, I just really liked java blue gotta find this pin. Job, job blue pin is pretty rare. Um, I should take better care of that one. Okay, other yellow bird box. Daisy Daisy box. Very cute blue and green pattern. And raspberry fizz. Okay, so let's get on to the pins I actually have in hand in the box. Um, there are, I think, three pins I'm using right now um, at my desk uh, here at the house. Uh, Plum Crazy, let's see your Blue Bandana, and uh, Make Me Blush. Um, that one's a vintage one. Va 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 Bloom, Va Va Bloom. For years I thought it was Va Va Blooms, but it's Va Va Bloom. Like, you know, boom! <laughs> took a little bit to, to catch on there. Um, but this, this writes black, and definitely a very, very colorful pattern. Slate Blooms. Uh, I know some ladies that are just absolutely crazy about this uh, more vintage pattern. Um, slide it out there and see. I think it writes blue. I think. Um, but another nice piece. Good with the burgundy. Rosy posies. Look at that. Just slides with nice out. What a bright present this would be for somebody. You know, easy to wrap. Safari Sunset. Um, I love of Vera Bradley patterns with elephants. There's citrus, pink elephant, and Safari Sunset has elephants in its uh, design every once in a while. Yeah, you'll find a piece with it. Um, but it's another cool burgundy pattern. Peacock. This is a rare one. This box, I think this is one of the very first pins they came out with. So it doesn't slide. And there's the peacock. I'm sorry if you heard that. My children are playing with the sitter upstairs. Um, but there's Peacock there. I don't usually use that pin because, like I said, it's hard to find. A lot of these are hard to find, but Peacock in particular is an older pattern. Uh, this is Very Berry Paisley. Very awesome. Very Berry. Doodle Daisy. Um, very fun spring summery pattern. Uh, lots of florals. Um, definitely a lot of daisies, hence the, the name. Boysenberry. Nice little uh, plum purpley pattern. Um, probably writes blue. I uh, don't remember. Baroque. Baroque is pretty awesome because it goes with a lot of things. Uh, you know, it's kind of funky, funky because this Baroque box and this pen, I don't know if you can tell in the sliding, is more of a lime green, whereas actually in the, the purse, this lime green color is more yellow, but you see people describe it both ways. Um, to me, purse has uh, yellow in it. The pen has uh, lime green. That was also one of their better selling patterns too. Twirly Birds Navy. 
a nice easy pattern to uh, has a lot of navy in it obviously and it goes with a lot of things plum petals cute purple pattern Priscilla pink not crazy about this pattern um, but it, it is very girly and I, of course back then I had to have it because like I said I had to have all the patterns mocha rouge I like this one um, I think it was a lot more popular when it was current when now it's retired it's kind of fell on by the wayside in my opinion but it's got a lot of pinks and browns in it um, so it would go with a lot of things blue bite I absolutely love this pattern I love blue such a fun tropical print Barcelona uh, Barcelona is a, it's a kind of a surprising pattern because you know from far away it looks um, black and white but then it's got some uh, color in it um, here and there I used to have a saddlebag in Barcelona that I absolutely loved but my sister's house burnt down and, and that included her rear Bradley so I gave her my Barcelona saddle up bag and uh, she used it until the one day she got acid on it <laughs> working at a hardware store ah, RIP you know um, Buttercup, eh, it's okay. It, it does go with a lot of things, being uh, different shades of brown. Uh, limes up, instead of times up, limes up. Ah, oh, so funny. Um, it's a cute pattern. Uh, you can find a lot of stuff in the outlet stores right now in the interior pattern of limes up. I don't, I don't think I remember the uh, interior pattern's name, but um, just a fun summer pattern. LA Blue. This is probably, of the elephant patterns, my least favorite. Um, I'm just not a blue and gold person. Um, but it's got the, the little elephants on it, and it's got it on the pin there, too. Uh, it's pretty cute. Island Blooms. A fun summer pattern. Um, it uh, has these big white flowers in it. Very distinctive. Definitely a lighter pattern. A little hard to keep clean, but it's still very cute. <laughs> Riviera blue <laughs> another blue and gold pattern you'd think Vera would learn um, this is this pattern absolutely bombed for them um, there was a ton of it at the outlet sale uh, it was one of their shortest lived patterns that they have out there uh, just not a lot of love for Riviera blue again had to have it because at the time I was collecting all the patterns uh, Paisley meets plaid very cute I have the matching throw in this uh, very cute, cute box. Twirly Birds Pink. Uh, of course, you saw Twirly Birds Navy. This is Twirly Birds Pink. And it has, um, you know, birds in it and swirls. And it was a breast cancer pattern as well. So uh, if you bought a breast cancer pattern from Vera Bradley, part of the proceeds went on to uh, be donated to breast cancer research. Camilla. Kind of reminds me of, I think it's Jasmine, a vintage pattern that's pretty popular. That didn't sell as well as, as Jasmine, but, um, you know, it's black and white, so it goes with a lot of things. Floral Nightingale. Very cute bird pattern. Um, ladies in, that like this particular pattern, um, part of their, uh, I'd say, complaint that sometimes you get a pattern with the bird's head cut off <laughs> in a particular spot. Um, it happens with the yellow bird too. Actually, there was a lot of yellow bird at the outlet sale um, the year it came out because uh, I think that was when they started taking more of it to China and a lot of the uh, bags were made with the yellow bird pattern upside down. So you had to really watch what you were buying that year at the outlet sale. But you see the box here, it's got a full bird. Um, but can you imagine carrying around a purse with <laughs> that bird's head cut off? <laughs> oh no! Yeah. Um, this is, why am I forgetting this one? Summer Cottage. Nice summery pattern, as it suggests. And it's got a lot of white in it. Um, more of a white background. White pattern person's in. It's not something I really carry a lot of because they'll get dirty. Um, Hello Dahlia. Uh, this one's grown on me more over the years. Um, not quite sure why, but the flowers are gorgeous. You don't see a whole lot of that pattern anymore. Tea Garden, another breast ca cancer pattern they've had out. Uh, very cute. It's got the gray background, so it goes with a lot. And has um, some really cute pinks and oranges in it. 
happy snails. I love happy snails. I carried a saddle up bag of happy snails forever. Um, you know, the snails aren't too prevalent, but they're so cute because they're like kind of hidden everywhere. Um, and on the pen. So, highly recommend that pattern. And the go pop. Um, I, again, I have to throw in this. I love this pattern. So cute. Uh, just love that color scheme. Folkloric. Another, it's not white, it's more of a, a cream based background. Again, too light for, for my taste, but it's cute. Kind of hippie ish looking. Um, but there's the pen for that. A couple more to go. Rhythm and Blues. I uh, had this in the saddle up as well. I'm going to make a video one of these days of my saddle up bag uh, collection. Um, but it's cute. You know, blues and greens. Who doesn't love blue and green together? Um, fairly popular pattern. And this one I had to track down. This one I didn't actually get through Vera. Um, I went through my pens and realized I was missing Cafe Latte. Uh, which is a brown and black pattern, so it goes with a lot. Um, and so I bought this one off of eBay, but for like 20 bucks, so they didn't totally crazy price me out. I bet you could <laughs> probably find it for around 50 uh, now on eBay. I never used it, but I just had to have it because it was in that pattern. Um, at the outlet sale one year, um, we lived in Fort Wayne for like six years. I went to several outlet sales. Uh, they, they have it in every year. Um, this one year, they had rugs, and um, there was some real knockdown drag out fights over these rugs they're super cheap huge rugs um and i kind of stayed back with my mom and let them all duke it out because the employees were handing them out at the time and this lady and her husband they got two and uh, all different patterns and um this one other woman wanted one but she was kind of rude about it and I kind of hung back and then she left and she's like, you know, I don't really need another one here. Do you want this one? And I got a rug in Cafe Latte, which I will probably put out once my um, little work area is finished. Either that or um, I may keep it rolled up until we move back to uh, Indiana next year. Um, but I, I had it out in my foyer in California and uh, in my office uh, in another uh, house we lived in California. Like I said, we move a lot. Um, but anyway, that's my little cafe latte story. And uh, I think the rug and the pen is the only thing I have in those. Um, so that's my collection in, in Vera Bradley pens. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you saw some that you've never seen before or was hoping to see. Um, on, I hope you have a great time. Why did I say that? I have no idea. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye.